Hi there, everybody. I'm Destin from IGN, and I am here with Boomer. Boomer, how's it going? Doing great, Destin. Ready to hop into uh, Guardian Zone Control Javelin 4. <laughs> yeah, why don't you jump in, and while we do that, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you've created here? Absolutely. So uh, myself and the incredible power team, uh, Ward Andrew, KK Slider, Dolphin Dom, Tony Quest, uh, we've had the incredible opportunity to work with Bungie and Epic Games to bring together a collaboration of both their Destiny 2 and Fortnite. Uh, so we actually took the incredibly popular and iconic Javelin 4 Crucible map and we recreated it in Fortnite for players to get a little taste of what it's like to play Control in Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, uh, I've played a few rounds on Javelin in Destiny. Just kidding. I've played many, many rounds in Destiny. And I've played a few actually in Fortnite. Uh, right away, you allow players like Zavala can actually be a warlock or a hunter if he chooses. And um, let's start with the powers, I guess, because we'll get into map design when we're into it. But uh, how did you decide what to give each class? So... I also play way too much Destiny, and I've always been, from Destiny 1 to Destiny 2, been an avid player. And with this, we actually got to talk with some of the Destiny designers and just run through what weapons were available in Fortnite and try to make, you know, not necessarily the standard weapons for classes, but try to give it something that felt really natural to the, the specific classes. So Hunters with a hand cannon-esque revolver and a quick SMG to really be fun with their sliding and fast mobility. Uh, so that class actually even has a little bit of faster mobility in Fortnite to keep that true hunter momentum going. Uh, Warlocks kind of specializing with their their low floaty kind of jumping. They have lower gravity in Fortnite to keep that feeling through. And they get a scoped AR and kind of a sniper rifle, you know, letting them play those long corners. And then Titans, of course, with their up per close and personal shotguns and ARs and a little bit of extra shield to give it that classic Titan stubbornness of not wanting to move <laughs> so i see you're over on c you got this this long sniper alley sort of uh outskirt of the map and there you are uh how was it difficult to get the same mechanics of control into the fortnite universe there are some unique challenges with it but luckily creative has a lot of these really unique devices and tools in place so it wasn't too too hard it was just a lot of you know altering some settings and making sure everything meshed well together and uh the the destiny team did an incredible job of helping us really highlight exactly what makes control work which as you kind of mentioned earlier you know it's like it's, when you have more than one zone that then multiplies the points earned by getting eliminations on like enemy guardians and, and so kind of getting that system to work, how it works in, in Destiny was challenging, but it worked out really well and we're all super happy. I just noticed out. I just noticed design wise, you actually have the pyramid ships just chilling. I, <laughs> I hadn't noticed that before. What, is that added to the Javelin map in Destiny 2 also? Not quite. So there are some like kind of like theories and rumors that it, technically there should be a pyramid ship here. Uh, as you, you look down as well, it might be a little foggy depending on your graphic settings. You can actually oh, yeah. see the cradle imprint left by the traveler. Uh, you know, this is on the surface of IO. One reason why we actually brought in the pyramid ship, aside from the technical lore and fan theories of it, is also normally here in Javelin, you see a massive visual of Jupiter. And that was something that we just... While it looked incredible, we just weren't able to recreate quite to that scale. So we're like, you know what? Let's let's see if we get some creative sparks going. And uh, so now you have the giant pyramid ship, the Black Fleet, just ominously hovering nearby. The, uh, Bungie skyboxes are pretty amazing. So uh, this is this is a cool homage to uh, where Destiny is at today. And we should have brought in Ikora Ray if we we're going to show off that. But <laughs> true. What, uh, what else did you want to show off today for this? Because th for me, it's it's very one to one with Javelin. You've done a really good job of recreating the location. But uh, is there, are there any other little secrets or little touches that you added that I might might have missed? There's there's a couple of things. Um, you know, one thing that we really really are proud of is like you said, kind of as close as we were able to get with the recreation of the map. Um, this was challenging because it's not like we were able to import custom assets, right? We had to use the available tools and available items in Fortnite to then kind of creatively put together these things. And I think here in the center of the map, the rocket is probably one of the most iconic areas where you'd see that happen. 
Um, you know, we use pieces from the Fortnite like mecha robot from a previous event to to make these kind of struts. And War Andrew actually had to go through like six different designs until we finally landed on something that we felt, you know, felt right for the map itself. You know, making sure that players could still run around and interact how it would feel in Destiny, but then also looked right. Mm -hmm. So that's that's a fun one. Yeah, it's a little different. Like, I think this sticks out a little bit further, but you <laughs> I wouldn't have noticed if you didn't point it out. <laughs> uh, it's very cool to run around. Uh, what else? What like over here by a point? Uh, were there any other challenges in terms of sight lines or anything? Yeah, no, absolutely. So one of the biggest things was actually challenges off sight lines because you know, of course, Destiny being a first person shooter, then uh, Fortnite being a third person over shoulder, we really want to make sure that we were able to put the same props, but not lose that line of sight or lose what made certain vantage points important. And so there, there are a couple of areas where, like you said, it's not as one to one, but for the sake of gameplay, we had to like make some light adjustments. This isn't gameplay related at all, but if you hop up here, you'll see kind of like through this glass, even like some like orange controls and all that nothing you can interact with but it's a feature that is in the destiny javelin 4 version so we wanted to capture it here too that's awesome i didn't notice that that's really cool uh separately our supers are up so maybe uh i'll activate mine and you can tell me a little bit about uh why you chose each unique super did you go with hunter class or did you go titan also i'm a hunter got it so here so it looks like i got the uh aura the going on here you're the Void Titan, so you got your nice iconic Titan bubble. <laughs> this <laughs> yeah. one, of course, looks a little different than normal. But uh, for the Titan, we went with, you know, the, the Void Titan class because of this really unique bubble shield item that is available in Fortnite and how similar it is to how the Titan shield functions, especially when playing a game like Control where it helps really hold your territory. And so that's why we went with the Titan one. Um, for the Hunter, we kind of captured the Spirit Golden of the gun. Solar class. Golden gun, exactly. <laughs> That's and great. So I got the golden gun locked up. And then for the warlocks, we went with the, um, I'm, Nova? Trying, I'm struggling, the, the arc, uh, the arc class oh. where you can kind of just electrocute everybody. Uh, but instead of it shooting out of their hands or anything like that, it's actually coming out of a Chimera ray gun, which is a Fortnite like laser beam type weapon. <laughs> uh, you so, also, yeah, go ahead. A bit of freedom there. <laughs> you also have even heavy ammo and it spawns in the same location. Uh, is it just a rocket? I actually haven't picked it up in a game yet. So let me grab it here really quick. So a lot like the, the loadouts for the classes being a little bit iconic to them. Each class also has a different heavy weapon. <laughs> yeah, geez. And so for the Titans, they get this mini gun. You know, it's very cool feeling heavy power. Uh, hunters get the rocket launcher and then the warlocks get a grenade launcher. It's really, really cool. Uh, what about, is there anything unique with death animations or anything like that? Um, nothing really unique in the death animations yet. Unfortunately, we couldn't really do any of that, but it does feel kind of similar to Destiny in the same way anyway, where normally a ghost would come in and kind of zoop you away. Uh, in a similar sense, you are just kind of evaporated and then respawned elsewhere on the map. So it felt kind of the same. Uh, did you get any input from Bungie when you were making this or did you collaborate with them in any way? Actually, yeah, uh, a lot, believe it or not. And a lot of these one-to-one -one things and some of the just really unique details in the map are only possible thanks to how awesome it was to work with the Bungie team and how open they were with giving us feedback and even playtesting the map with us. Yeah, uh, it, it was a trip the first time I signed on and I'm like, what? <laughs> it's Javelin, like almost perfect Javelin. Uh, so it was very familiar to me and getting to hop in and play the games with a lot of players. What has the response been like from the community? It's been incredible. I mean, of course, you, you have uh, a couple of very avid Destiny players that, that, like you said, they can spot the differences. But for a lot of them, it's been something where they get to hop into Fortnite and it's almost like a home away from home. And they even, because they are so used to these control mechanics and they're used to kind of how all these things work and function, even though they're new to Fortnite, some of them, uh, they still really perform well because it's, again, something they're so uh, just aware of. For Fortnite players, it's been the same where they, they get a lot of that same Fortnite, you know, combat, but learning these new control mechanics normally takes a game or two. But after a while, especially after it's been out for a couple of days, the lobby's been really, really fun to get into because everyone actually starts working as a team and playing objectively instead of just running around. <laughs> for sure. Last one I got for you. Do you see this as a... 
uh, starting point for more Destiny maps to end up in the world of Fortnite? Wow, you know, I hope so. I, I <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I, I think it's gone really well. I think, you know, the Destin team and Bungie we were all very happy with it. You know, Epic, I believe, has been happy hopping in and playing some games with them. The community reception, as you said, has been it's been great. It's been positive. So, you know, we would definitely be open to bringing another iconic Destiny map into this world if ever the opportunity was available. Well, that is good to hear. And I have seen the battle bus in Destiny 2. Love that there's a little bit of a, a cross promo so to speak in both of the games uh thank you so much boomer for taking some time to show me through the map before we sign off is there anything else you want to show me mm, anything else you want to show anything you i, I missed. think you, i think you've seen all the iconic parts of the map you know from the giant pyramid ships to the the fortnite rocket in the middle there it's it's just overall the map is just really great and while it plays a lot like destiny just visually if you're a fan of destiny there's a lot of fun little things you can kind of find in here too well as a fan of both games thank you so much for your creation and for more on all things fortnite or destiny keep it right here on ign